Assalamu alaikum dear students and welcome back. Hope you all are fine. Dear students, we have read in our previous lecture about the digestive process. Our today's topic is absorption on page 5. As we know that absorption of food in the blood means digestion occurs in three places of digestive system that is mouth, stomach and small intestine. Basically, the small intestine is responsible to digest fats but due to the presence of several enzymes, small intestine can also digest remaining undigested carbohydrates and proteins as well means jo carbohydrates mouth may digest hone se reh jate hain ya jo proteins stomach may digest nahi ho pate wo sab bhi small intestine may digest ho jate hain from the small intestine all the digested food are transported to the liver Liver is the organ of digestive system. It filters the blood and passing it to all parts of the body. Liver also perform some duties regarding excess food components. After a meal, carbohydrates are broken down into glucose. Glucose is needed for respiration because it reacts with oxygen and produce energy. A constant supply of glucose circulates in the blood. If its rate increases, the liver converts some into glycogen, means too much glucose can convert into glycogen by liver. The Insoluble glycogen can again convert into glucose when needed. Extra glucose can convert into fats by liver. So, the job of liver are Liver converts excess glucose into glycogen. Liver converts excess carbohydrates into fats and liver can also change extra amino acid into a substance called urea which is excreted from the body. Do you remember what is amino acid? Amino acid is a substance which is formed by the breaking down of protein molecules. It is used for the growth and repair of the body. Then, from small intestine, the undigested food enters into the large intestine. From where the water and mineral salts are absorbed into the blood. Food also contain fibers and cellulose which cannot digest. So, fibers or any remaining undigested material is passed on to the rectum where it is stored as feces. Feces mean pahana. Until it is passed out from the body through anus. About two-thirds of the feces is water and about half of the rest has dead bacteria. The bacteria are present in the intestine and play an important part in producing certain vitamins and help the body to fight against disease. Okay, dear students, you must read this topic from your book as well. 
and we will meet with our next topic soon inshallah thank you allah hafiz